Hello everyone, my name is Master Steve and welcome back to Hunting Simulator 2. I think the last Hunting Simulator video I posted was the Ultimate Guide to Roosevelt Forest and that was over a year ago. I took a long break from this game because when I upgraded the Series X version of it, um, I lost all of my weapons, all my progress, my trophy lodge was empty and I just felt totally defeated and I was just kind of getting burnt out on it, making content on it every single day. But I kind of saw it sitting there in my library the other day and I was like, you know what, wouldn't hurt to get back into that and I kind of, I got addicted again. So I figured now that I'm back into it and actually enjoying it and I can actually enjoy making content on it again, I'm going to start finishing off some series that I never finished. So I'm going to start by finishing off the Ultimate Region Guide series. So I started that with the Ultimate Guide to Roosevelt Forest and that's gotten over 6,000 views and I'm super proud of that and I thank you guys for all the support. And this one's going to be the Ultimate Guide to the Bandera Region. So the Bandera Region is probably the largest um, version of the Texas maps that we have in this game. It's gigantic. There's so much space to cover, and it almost feels like animals are a rarity. Um, there are some of the most profitable animals in the game out here, though, like the bison, cougar, elk, and just stuff like that. And you're going to have no storage of money out here. It's just a matter of finding out, like, how do you hunt this and where are things located. So I'm going to try to cover that the best I can and show you guys, like, where the bison's at, where you can find the cougar and stuff like that. And I try to make a very helpful video to you guys. So, without further ado, let's get into this and see if we can't, you know, really understand the Bandera region. So, what you need to start with is your loadout. Now, whatever you enjoy using this game, by all means, use it. The most important thing is not limiting yourself and just have fun. But if you want to know what the most recommended loadout for this area is going to be, in my opinion, you have to have to take out the Model 94 takedown one of your weapon slots. I would make I would honestly say that the Model 94 takedown is a requirement for hunting this region. The Model 94 takedown is the only rifle I have found that is just so so good against bison and can take him down in one shot. Every other rifle, I feel like when I shoot a bison, it's going to it just runs off for an eternity and I have to chase it forever and ever and ever. So make sure you take a Model 94 takedown and you will notice that you are killing bison with ease. Now, as for your secondary weapon slot, unless you are absolutely determined to go after rabbits, um, you don't need a shotgun. And what I would recommend is just a lower caliber rifle that you can use on things like coyotes, bobcats, and the cougar. So... If you don't want to use that, by all means, it's up to you, but I would definitely say make sure you take out the Model 94 takedown and use a smaller caliber rifle for those smaller game. Now, there are two routes on this map that I would call your best friends. So, in Roosevelt Forest, it kind of felt like there were some like scripted locations to find animals, like I was in the black bears up north, stuff like that. But on this map, it feels like it's kind of a little more random. So, your first route that I would absolutely recommend to you is this. Start at the upper right hand um, camp and follow the arrows on screen as best you can and work your way down to the camp on the left by the river. You know, like I said, you don't need to follow it exactly, but the key of this one is just making sure you're staying up high. This one will help you find animals like the bison and cougar and stuff like that. This one is good for things like deer, pronghorn, bighorn sheep, elk, and stuff like that. This is your one if you're going out and just want to complete your trophy lodge and make sure you get one of each. This is your best friend. Again, it ends at that same camp, but these are like your minimum amount of time with your maximum amount of profit on both. So those are my personal recommendations. Screenshot those, walk those, let me know how they work. So let's get into the animals more specifically, and we'll start with everyone's favorite, the bison. I have gotten so many comments and views on my video on where to find bison in this game, and I want to cover this a little more in depth in this video. Now, when I made that video a few years ago, it seemed like there was a set scripted location to find the bison. It was always that upper right-hand corner. You could just fast travel to that camp up there, look out to the right-hand side, and he was always there. Ever since I upgraded the Series X version of this game, it's like that's not true anymore almost. It seems like occasionally he's there, but there's just a lot more variety in where you can find them. And those locations are going to be the following. So one, obviously the upper right hand corner, that video is still applicable. The upper left hand corner by the river is where you'll occasionally see him hanging out. You'll, you'll come across him on that secondary route. And in the bottom left hand corner. 
So make sure you're just playing your corners, basically. The bottom right-hand corner, I have not ever found a bison down there. It's just going to be the upper right, upper left, and bottom left. So those routes cover those pretty pretty significantly, and you should be able to locate them no matter what. So let's move on to the next animal, the cougar. The cougar is the second most profitable animal on this map, and it's not too hard to find. He usually hangs out at the, by that camp um, on that left side by the river where both of those routes end. Um, super easy, nothing really deep about this one. Usually you can find him just hanging around down there. Make sure you take your predator collar with you. And it's a quick and easy kill, a quick 3,000 credits, nothing to that one. So our next set of animals are going to be our, I don't know, kind of mid-sized game with like the elk and white-tailed deer and pronghorn and bighorn sheep. So let's start with the white-tailed deer. White-tailed deer are kind of just honestly scattered everywhere on this map, and they're not too hard to find. But if we are talking about maximizing your chances of finding like the best one and getting one that really make your lodge look really, really nice, my recommendation to you is making sure you are staying up super high on the cliff sides and just looking down to these valleys. So what I find is deer are either kind of in the valley or by the river. I don't typically find them up top. Usually they're kind of like roaming around kind of down by the tree stands. So stay up high, look down below in the valley, and you should be able to get a super nice one like this one right here. This one I was actually very, very pleased with. So the next animal I want to talk about is the elk. Now... Elk, I mean, if you are specifically looking for a trophy elk for your lodge, Pawnee Meadows is your best bet because you just can't beat it. But if you're, I mean, if you're looking for elk out here, they're still very much worth it. They're still worth like 900 credits each. And my recommendation to you is looking close to the campsites. There's usually, they're usually right by the camps. Um, if you if you don't find them there, my best recommendation to you is going to be again the corners, upper right, just across from. Um, the just across from that campsite, upper left hand kind of by the river, and the lower left hand corner kind of up in the hilly area, those are where you can typically find elk the best. Now my next recommendation for elk is just make sure that you bring your collar with you as it'll be super easy to lure them in. And like I said, the Bandera region is so open and just easy to spot stuff. A collar just makes it super easy to get them going in the right direction. You should have no issue bringing them down. Now the pronghorn is the next kind of like animal unique to texas out here which you know it looks great in your lodge but like the easiest way you're going to find these animals is again staying up high if you're hunting the bandera region you should never ever sacrifice your elevation for distance always make sure you're staying up high and looking down below for animals now pronghorn themselves are going to be found kind of on the I don't know, I'd say like on the plateau walls almost, they're always kind of like halfway between those low values and high plateaus. If you're up top and just kind of using your binoculars, you should be able to spot quite a few of them, and they're super easy to take down, and it's not hard to find a, a really, really nice one out here. So again, look kind of in those middle regions, and you should have great success with that. Now, the bighorn sheep is kind of like the next big significant thing you should be looking for out here. Again, they're kind of in the same spot like the pronghorn, kind of like halfway between the... Um, riverbed and just kind of you know in that middle area super easy to bring down they're always always out in pairs you can get some really really nice ones out here honestly like I will say the Bandera region is probably best for getting a trophy bighorn sheep for your wall now smaller animals like bobcat coyote rabbit stuff like that they are usually going to be more down in the valleys and by the river. And again, your best strategy for finding them is not necessarily just walking down by the river and just seeing if you can spot one or not. Your best friend is going to be those high plateaus. So make sure you're just staying on the perimeter up there, looking down below, and you should be able to spot you should usually be able to spot one or two every single time you're doing this. Um, those aren't the most profitable, you know, animals for the region. I mean, obviously you want to get all of them to complete your trophy lodge. This video is kind of more to focus on, like, you know, just the big profitable animals. But for those of us that kind of want to get a coyote occasionally, just make sure you're looking down on the riverbed and stuff like that. Now, rabbits, um, yeah, rabbits are not fun on this map. They are, there's not really a set location for rabbits on any of the maps. And they are the most ridiculously hard animal to find. And they're worth, like, nothing. So, my recommendation for rabbits are there's plenty, plenty of, like, you know, stands out here you can use sitting in a stand for a little bit looking for tracks for him and just kind of you know sitting by the tracks um, rabbits will usually come back to an area they've already passed before and that's really all I can tell you rabbits are not really a great animal to hunt in this game they're so elusive and ridiculous to go after and they just 
I don't enjoy rabbit hunting in here, but I have gotten a few other Bandera region. My recommendation is just patience, 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 and just make sure you have a good shotgun. So I believe that covers all the animals in here. Like I said, the smaller game like bobcats, coyotes, cougars, stuff like that. Kind of those low mid regions, but just the big takeaways from this video are make sure you take your model 94 takedown for bison and make sure you have a smaller rifle for them those for some of those smaller game out here. And just make sure you're staying up high and looking down below and you should be able to pull in just tons of credits every single time you come out here and walk those two routes and let me know down in the comment section below if this has been useful to you. So that about wraps up this video. Um, thank you guys again for 500 subscribers. That's kind of a, it's, I know it's a small milestone, but by YouTube standards, but that is a huge milestone for me. I never thought I'd get there and I'm going to just keep, you know, slowly cranking out content and should keep trying to make quality stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you wouldn't mind, please hit, this, hit that subscribe button. It really keeps me going. And I hope you guys will stick around and keep up with my hunting content as there's plenty more to come. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.